Hey guys, it's Ramadan! Yeah! But I've got night shifts. Ooh. But it's the last 10 days! Yeah! But I've got night shifts. Yeah! But I'm breaking my fast! But I've got night shifts. Night shifts themselves, they're not that bad actually. Like yesterday I had a night shift. Uh, actually early today, I, I finished nine o'clock this morning. I hate finishing a night shift and people say, oh, see you later today. No, I'm not seeing you later today. I'm sleeping. So for me, your today is my tomorrow. Never say that again. The worst part about night shifts, the messing up of the, the inner circadian, lacadium cylinder rhythm. That's the worst. I can never get to sleep properly afterwards. It takes me a while to get back in my routine. I hate it. And also they age you. And I can testify to them aging you because literally on my first night shifts, I saw gray hairs. Being honest, no one say anything. If you comment I've got gray hairs, you're banned. Currently, we broke our fast for the day and some water. Do I have time to properly eat food? No. So we're just gonna have to make a pap lunch. So, a quick run through. Ramadan is a month in which Muslims fast for 30 days about from dawn to sunset. The month of Ramadan is not really about not eating food or not drinking water. That's not actually the big part. The main purpose of Ramadan is getting closer to God. We do that through praying more. We do that through uh, reading more Quran. We do that by praying more in the mosque as well, more congregational, congregational. So it's a very spiritual month and it's a, it's a communal month in that the community comes together, you break fast with other people as well, other people's houses, and you, you pray together. It's really nice to see the community come together. The last 10 days for Muslims, we believe, are the most blessed because it contains something called the Night of Power. The Night of Power is the night in which your good deeds are multiplied a lot. So doing one good thing goes a long way. And therefore, Muslims in the last 10 nights, they try and basically pump up the Quran, pump up the prayer. Me having night shifts sort of stuffs me <laughs> from doing that. Not completely, but yeah, sure, like I can't attend the Taraweeh because I've got a night shift. It's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, the way I see it and the way that it's taught to Muslims is that me going to work, like me being a doctor, is a form of worship because I'm looking after people. So if I visit a patient, if I visit someone who is ill and I look after them, I do something to make them feel better, then I'm going to get a lot of reward for that. So who is the real winner? Ha! Okay, peace. Salam alaikum. Bye. Hello, I'm on 2%, so I need to make this quick. At night is going okay, alhamdulillah. Had a cardiac arrest. I'm just having a reflection as I pray Fajr. But one of the things I was thinking, seeing these night shifts during the last 10 days of Ramadan, was like, oh, it's gonna compromise my worship. And then I remember thinking before these night shifts, you know what, if I can save a life in Islam, we believe if you save one life, it's like you save the whole of humanity. Like how much reward is in that, right? And that's a, that's a form of worship. And I just clock now. The cardiac arrest, I put the gadel in, I put the eye gel in, I was bag valve in. patient was resuscitated. Imagine I was thinking, yo, like it would be so sick if I was to be able to save a life. I, that sounds so cocky. I'm not, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but at the end of the day, I contributed to resuscitating that patient. I, that's just facts. I can't be like humble to the point where I'm not gonna lie. The truth is, is that us as a team, we resuscitated our patient. If we went there, the patient was dead. Alhamdulillah. That's amazing. That's the pros of being a doctor, man. Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Second night shift over. Scale of one to 10. 10 being the most busiest shift of my life and one being the most easiest, quietest shift of my life. Mm, five, four? I mean, there was a cardiac arrest and there was more emergencies, but basically I think it was manageable. There was some tricky like little bits, but I just asked and I got the answer. So that's the key as well. If you're ever unsure, just ask. Don't try and do it yourself. If you're unsure, it's safer to ask. Person who asks is a fool for five minutes. Person who never asks is a fool forever. Woke up. I don't really get too much good sleep. Too good sleep last night. Couldn't really sleep for for some reason. I slept at maybe 2 p.m. <laughs> and I came back 9.30 or 10. I had some weird dreams, dude, weird dreams. 7.52, I need a shower as well, so I can't even 
properly eat at the minute. I can just eat a bit more hospital, but I've had a day and some water. Is there milk? Nope. I was gonna have some cereal. Quick. But no. This is what I mean. This is why night shifts can suck. It's not the night shift themselves. It's more of the, uh, just the routine, not getting used to it. My sleep has been really bad the past few weeks. But Alhamdulillah, it's okay. Two more to go. Inshallah, everyone make dua that these are really quiet. You said the Q word. No. Shut up. I mean, be quiet. A little reflection before we go into it. I find myself smiling a lot. I think that's important. I go at a good pace, I'm finding, I think. Like, I'm not like rushing through stuff because I want to do stuff well. As well as that, I try and do task prioritization in that I'm doing the important stuff first. The fluids for that nil by mouth plate patient overnight can hold. In fact, I probably, I may not prescribe it, but the patient who's had a fall, I'll go see them first. The patient who's in pain, I'll prescribe something for them first. Yeah, I'm smiling and I'm prioritizing tasks as well. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I'll pray, oh. I'll shower, and I'll uh, go to work. Another night shift. See you later. Alhamdulillah. So far, been pretty chill. No emergencies. In terms of iftar, I've had a few dates, some water, a little bit of cake, and also uh, uh, some biscuits. And it's about 2.40. So we've not really had a pro- I mean, alhamdulillah. I've had more than what a lot of the other people would have been able to have. I'm fine. I have brought food, home-cooked food. So I'll have that later, maybe closer to Fajr time. But just a reflection. Alhamdulillah, this job. I think you will hear a lot of bad things from current doctors. And I'm not saying that it's perfect. There's obviously things that need to improve, etc, etc. But I just want to say that this job is actually amazing. It's such an amazing opportunity for you to like positively, directly benefit people. Even just talking to people and just reassuring them. Even if it's just that, this is such an honor, such a privilege. And I'm, I'm starting to see it more and more. I think just for the future doctors, stay positive, block out the negative stuff you hear, you gotta keep smiling. And even in the tough situations, even when you're going through really busy shifts, just think of it as more opportunity to help people and more learning experience. I'm just very blessed, very privileged. I feel very good. And I'm gonna use this opportunity to read some Quran and do some prayers. And Alhamdulillah, like all my jobs are done. I'll check my job list as well regularly, but Alhamdulillah, I'm a bit delirious now, I think. Okay, need to focus. Don't go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Paradox. Third night shift finished, bro. That last part of the night. Dude, I need some. I need some hello paradox. Yeah, it just got a bit busy, like a very sick patient. ITU had to review them, medical registrar had to review them, and just deteriorating, deteriorating. Cold peripheries, the blood pressure not responding. It was sad. Went from being fine and then now to moving to comfort care. It just got busy. Dude, I did not drink enough water. Oh my gosh. Cause I was dealing with that, that emergency patient with the other people. I, I couldn't, I couldn't even drink. So I've drank, I don't know. Oh my gosh. From iftar to fajr. I don't know. I don't know if I've even drank a liter. My water has still got water in it. So I think I just drank from there to where it is now. That's bad. I think I've got AKI. I think I've got AKI. I definitely have AKI. I'll just sleep it off. It's going to be fine. That's the first line treatment for AKI. Sleep it off. Anyway, man, I'm tired. Got to go sleep. Inshallah, this sleep is going to be better. Bye. I'm surprised I'm alive. I'm not like in Rigos with this AKI because surely I've got an AKI, at least stage one. I've not drunk any water for ages and hardly anything for Suhoor. The plan is go to this chicken shop, have some chicken, eat the chicken, pray Maghrib at the mosque because the chicken shop is next to the mosque. And then after the mosque, go straight to work, brush our teeth at work because I don't want to be 
stank and then we're gonna do this last shift inshallah this is my last night i mean i've got more you know coming up as a doctor it's not my last night i wish it was my last night honestly but i'm happy that it's my last night of this four night stretch alhamdulillah Oh yeah, I'm, I'm back. In bed. Just finished the night shift. I've uh, finished it all. Every night shift ever to have ever happened, I've finished it. I've done it, I've completed it. Yeah. Newsing of about three right now. Just gonna go to bed, GCS. Mm, let's see, can you guys guess my GCS? I need some sleep. Over reflections of the night, night shifts, blessed. The biggest reflection, we saved a life. We saved a life and it could have been on Laylatul Qadr. Inshallah, with God's will, it could have been on the night of power. The night in which any good deed is multiplied by a thousand months, i.e. 83 years. I.e. if we save that life, then I get the good deed of saving the whole of humanity. Because that's in the Quran, that if you save one life, you save the, it's like you save the whole of humanity, the whole of mankind. So I'll get that reward every night for 30, 83 years, based on what I'm, I'm trying to say. Alhamdulillah, and I'm not saying that in a boastful way at all. I'm saying that to inspire people, hopefully, inshallah, to push future healthcare professionals to be positive and to seek the rewards and the blessings of this profession and to, to really realize how much of a blessing this profession is. Through, through all the rubbish, it's a blessing. Even the difficulties, it's a blessing. And with the difficulties, you learn and you get better, you get stronger, and with Hardship comes ease. فَإِنَّ مِنْ عُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى فَإِذَا فَرَقْتَ فَانْصَبْ وَإِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرْغَبْ I need sleep. Okay. Bye.